everybody, Mrs. Bodishan here. So today we're going to be talking about the movie Harry Potter and we're going to be looking at chemical reactions and I'm actually going to do a lab that you can do at home that's just like a Harry Potter potion. So in Harry Potter, there were all kinds of potions and serums going on that were giving us those classic chemical reactions that were just really awesome to see. Um, so here's just a couple of them to remember them from the movies. So there was Liquid Luck, the True Serum, the Love Potion, and my favorite, the Polyjuice Potion. So you probably remember seeing this scene from Harry Potter Deathly Hollows Part 1, where they're taking the Polyjuice Serum so that they can all look like Harry Potter so that he's not in danger when he leaves this scene. Okay. So before we start doing our science experiment, let's first talk about what is a chemical reaction. So it occurs when substances combined or split apart to form new substances. So we're creating something completely new. So a new atomic or molecular structure is being formed here. Now, there's always going to be evidence that you can see um, that a chemical reaction has taken place. So here's some really good examples that you can identify a chemical reaction has actually occurred. So if it produces a smell or an odor, um, if it's lighting up on its own, if it produces bubbles or if it foams or fizzes, if it heats up, so it's definitely producing heat, um, if it smokes or if it changes color. So today we are gonna be doing a color changing experiment. In fact, we're gonna be doing one with iodine um, this one, you may have heard of it as the iodine clock experiment, uh, and that's what we're going to do. And it kind of looks like a Harry Potter potion, so it's really awesome for this. And what it looks like when it first starts is this kind of like a milky white color, and then just after a few minutes of time, it will transform through a chemical reaction, and it will change color. Because remember, changing color is a piece of evidence that a chemical reaction has occurred and it will turn into this really, really deep bluish purple color. And it's just a big wow factor. So let's go ahead and go over lab safety really quickly. Um, I do have a lab safety video. I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the video description below if you wanna watch the lab safety video and just make sure you're covered before you start your experiment. But some basics here, um, no drinking the potion, okay? <laughs> so our iodine clock um, experiment, please don't drink it. We definitely don't wanna ingest this. Um, you need to be wearing goggles and make sure you wash your hands, okay? Now the materials you need, you can find these materials pretty much at any pharmacy. So these are readily available to you. You're going to need at least three plastic cups. You want to make sure they're clear so you can see that color changing action. In this video, I am going to use beakers, um, but you don't need beakers. Clear cups will work just as good. You're going to need some vitamin C tablets, some iodine, hydrogen peroxide, uh, liquid um, laundry starch and some measuring spoons or measuring cups because we're going to go ahead and start our experiment now. The first thing you need to do is smash your vitamin C tablets into a fine powder. I am using a mortal and pestle that's not necessary. Go ahead and put it in a Ziploc bag and smash it repeatedly with a rolling pin and that will work just as well. Now you're going to take your first beaker or clear cup and you're going to place all of your vitamin C tablet that you've smashed up into a powder down at the bottom. And you're going to go ahead and add 60 milliliters of warm water to that and stir it up really good until all the vitamin C has dissolved. Now you're going to take your second clear cup and you're going to go ahead and add 60 milliliters of warm water. And you're going to then add five milliliters of that vitamin C solution from your first cup into it. That's roughly five of my little one milliliter pipettes. Um, and then you're going to add equal parts of the iodine. So I'm using five little squirts of my one milliliter pipette to give me five milliliters. You're going to notice that this solution is going to turn um, clear. So go ahead and give that a stir and make sure it's good to go and you are all set. Go ahead and get your last cup and fill it with 20 milliliters of warm water and then take your hydrogen peroxide and measure out 15 milliliters of that and go ahead and add that to the water. Now you're going to go ahead and get your liquid starch and you're going to measure out roughly two and a half to three milliliters. So I'm doing about three pipettes full um, into my solution. 
Once you stir that up, that will be your third and final cup. Now that first cup of the vitamin C um, solution, you will not be using that one anymore. So you can move that one to the side and make sure that you don't um, use it further. All right, and here's the exciting part. We now take the second cup and the third cup only, and you're going to just pour one into the other back and forth to fully mix it through. Uh, remember, you're not using that first cup of the vitamin C solution anymore, so this is only the second and third cup. And once you've given it a thorough mix, you can go ahead and leave it all in one cup and go ahead and set it down and watch the magic occur. So this potion is gonna turn from this milky white color into this beautiful deep bluish purple color uh, as soon as the chemical reaction takes place. Now this will take a couple of minutes, so be patient and keep watching it and then all of a sudden you will see it instantly change before your eyes. It's pretty awesome, right? So I wanted you guys to be able to see it from this angle as well. So I went ahead and performed the experiment one more time. This is a final step after I've mixed it. And you can see it's just gonna sit here for a couple of minutes. I think this one took roughly three minutes time in order to start doing the color change. Now, if you add different proportions of the ingredients, you will see that it will take it either longer or a shorter period of time to change colors. So that is a really fun way to experiment with this. All right, one more time in slow motion so you can really see how the color changing spreads throughout the substance. Um, it's just a really cool thing to witness. Now, the second cup that you are mixing it back and forth in will have these little droplets of your solution still in the cup. And you'll actually see those droplets color change first before this huge beaker of substance will change. So if you're doing this for a friend, um, you can see when it's actually going to happen and you can predict the timing and it's really cool. You don't have to tell them your secret of how you know when it's going to happen. And that concludes our Harry Potter potion. Go ahead and give this one a try, you guys. It's so much fun and easy to do. Now, if you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to my channel to see all of the new Science Explained videos that I'll be posting. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye.